Welcome back to the channel boys, Fablinski is coming at your neck with his Mask of Bacchus PvE build. With this build, we're honestly trying to spam abilities, we got Traveler's Chosen, we got my first and last out with Demolitionist, and a few other mods. So let's go ahead and break it down. So here's my Revenant subclass, we got the Gambler's Dodge, so I can get my melee back whenever using my dodge near enemies. And then we got Cold Snap Grenades, because I feel like I hardly really use these in PvE, so I wanted to break them out see if I can do something with them. Obviously I got my two aspects on, and then the fragments I'm rocking here we got whisper of bonds so that way i get super energy for defeating frozen targets with my weapons and then we got whisper of hedron so that way i get a weapon damage buff after freezing a target with stasis whether it's using both of my shurikens or using my cold sap grenade it's a pretty good buff too so i like using it so as for my loadout if you want to do the most ability spam i highly recommend using traveler's chosen because this sidearm allows you to get your abilities back as long as you're stacking up those gift of light or gathering light stacks you can just consume them and get ability energy back but if you don't want to use a sidearm which i don't blame you i don't really like using sidearms either i just like this one because of the fact that you can get abilities back you could always use something like monte carlo and get your melee back or if you just want to use any other gun and then swap out for maybe like anarchy or something like that you can just use like an auto rifle it doesn't really matter but for the most ability spam ever use Traveler's Chosen. Now as for the energy slot, here's why I recommend using an arc weapon. I'm using arc shotguns. Now I have two options, two ways of using this build. This is the one that I kind of liked a little bit more. We got first and last out with auto loading and demo. Um, using demo allows me to get my grenade back, which is a cold snap grenade, which will allow me to freeze enemies. And then I get that damage buff for freezing enemies. And then once I shift using my mask of backers, I get 10% damage buff on any arc weapon. And plus if they're slowed, then I do more damage to them. So using arc weapons for this build is pretty important. Um, I'm using this first and last out, like I said, and I get to abuse my cold snap grenades. The other play style is using Xeno class. Now we got a grave robber swashbuckle on it. Um, this is more of a slaying out type of play style with the shotgun because swashbuckler increases your damage plus you're getting to reload it using uh, grave robber and then you get that damage buff from whisper of hedrons then you shift you get that arc damage buff and against slowed enemies so this is more geared towards doing more damage as opposed to this one which is more about using your grenades and getting your abilities back that way now as for my heavy i'm using my bearing just memory because this is just my favorite grenade launcher to use it is void now you're probably better off using something like an interference six i have this one but in the gameplay i didn't use it because i, I just i don't know i wasn't even thinking about it <laughs> but uh it still does a lot of damage either one i have full field prep full court and then this one is quick draw auto loading so it really doesn't matter probably better off using the arc one because well you get the arc damage buff anyway so it doesn't really matter here so let's go over my stats now we got 100 mobility which is really important because when you're using mask backers when you have that damage buff active i think it's called light shift or light strike or something like that your class ability isn't coming back like your dodge is not going off cooldown it's just literally staying empty until that damage buff is over so being able to have this at 100 allows for that the downtime of having your dodge is much less because 11 seconds once your damage buff is up it's 11 seconds and you can do it again so having 100 mobility is actually really important for using mask of backrest we got 44 resilience we got 34 recovery and we got 50 discipline which is pretty important too i mean i have this demolition shotgun so you can kind of find ways around that if you don't want to rock high discipline we got 17 intellect and then we got 32 strength so let's start with my helmet which is actually my exotic piece of choice we got mask of backris now the armor prick that comes on it is light shift replace your stasis subclass dodge ability with a longer range faster moving shift that partially cloaks you during use after shifting your arc weapons deal increased damage to combatants for a short time and you deal increased damage to all slowed and encased combatants and i believe it's a 10 percent weapon damage buff to arc weapons um, I don't know how much of the damage it is to slowed enemies, but I think that the weapon damage buff is 10%. It's really good. The mobility of this is crazy. It's extremely good in PvP. Unfortunately, the damage buff does not apply in PvP, but in PvE it does, so we're going to use it that way. So let's go over my mods. So we're using hands-on, so I gain bonus super energy for getting melee kills. I'm using my uh, what is it, gambler's dodge, so I'm going to be able to use my melee a lot. We got shotgun ammo finder, and then we got quick charge. We come charged at light by rapidly defeating multiple combatants with fusion rifles or shotguns. I'm going to be using my shotgun a lot, so it kind of makes sense for me to have this mod. On my arms, we got mobility mod, and since I'm trying to have the least amount of downtime on my dodge ability, we're using focusing strike, and then we're using bolstering detonation. So a focusing strike does is grants class ability energy whenever you cause damage with a melee attack. 
And then what, what bolstering detonation does is grants class ability energy when you cause damage with a grenade. Now I don't know, I don't think that the stasis grenades really cause that much damage. If anything, it's just a little bit, so if a little bit counts then okay. But using my melee attack causing damage that grants cl class ability energy, I'll take that anything to reduce the cooldown on my dodge. And then we have taking charge, become charged with light by picking up orbs of power. My weapons are masterworks, so I'm going to be generating a lot of orbs anyway. On my chest piece, we got a minor mobility mod. We got shotgun reserve, so I can hold more shotgun ammo. And then we got supercharged, so I can have four stacks of charge with light. On my legs, we got another minor mobility mod. We got grenade launcher scavenger. We got shotgun scavenger. And then we got powerful friends. When you become charged with light, nearby allies also become charged with light if they are not already. But the main reason we're using this is because it gives me plus 20 mobility, which is what's allowing me to get that 100 mobility stat. This is probably the best mod to have for hunters. If you do not have this mod, you need to go out and get it. Wait for Banshee to sell it. I think that's the only way to get it, honestly. Just wait for Banshee to sell it because this is extremely important. It allows you to open up so many more builds for the hunter. And on my hunter cloak, we got a minor mobility mod. Now I tested this out with uh, Perpetuation which gives you dodge ability cooldown or class ability cooldown when using your class ability. But unfortunately it didn't work with Mask of Backwards so I went back to Outreach, reduce melee cooldown when using your class ability. Really strong mod, either one, either one's really strong but it didn't work with per Perpetuation so Outreach it is. And then we got Heavy Handed, while charged with light, regain half of your melee energy when you used a charged melee ability, consuming one stack of charged light. And then we got the secondary perk, while surrounded by multiple combatants, defeating a combatant with a fusion rifle, shotgun, sidearm, or submachine gun, adds ammo for that weapon to your reserves. So since I'm going to be around a lot of enemies up close and personal using my shotgun, I'm going to be generating ammo just for getting kills, and whenever I'm charged with light, I use my melee, I get half of it back. This is a really strong mod, and honestly one of my favorite mods to use in any type of build, just for the simple fact that it gives you half of your melee, uh, melee charge, which is so strong, so strong, and then generating ammo just for getting kills while surrounded is really strong as well i love this mod and if you guys are liking my hunter fashion uh, shaders will be in the description below so if you have any questions about that just check the description i like it i do it for the black and red i think that the mask of backers looks really good with this shader because like the little eyes and stuff are red and everything other than that th this mask is i think it's it's pretty ugly but it's like cool looking it's ugly and cool at the same time but the red looks really good on it so if you like the colors shaders will be in the description below so the two different play styles using each of the shotguns are both very different but very same at the same time uh, they're both around using my abilities as much as possible although i will say using first and last out is just a little bit more into using my abilities but with the xeno class i really feel like uh, i can just chunk down enemies you know I'm, I'm reloading my weapon with the melee i'm doing a lot more damage because i'm shifting getting that arc damage buff Plus, I have Whispers of Hedron, so if they're frozen, I'm going to do even more damage. I'm getting super energy back. It's just all out slaying out. There's really no strategical thing like, all right, let me get my grenade back, use my grenade, reload my weapon, blah, 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 like first and last out. But this is honestly a lot of fun. The, the Xeno class is a lightweight frame, so I'm moving faster. I actually really like it, um, although I do think that the first and last out type of playstyle is just a bit better because, you know, you're getting your grenade and having your grenade back is so strong in Destiny. Plus the fact that whenever I freeze enemies, I'm getting a damage buff for my so my grenade is allowing me to get damage buff plus my weapon is an arc weapon so whenever i get the light shift buff i'm doing even more damage that way now this is probably the most ability spam i was able to do with mask of backwards because there is some limitations on it i'm using traveler's chosen you guys already know what it does but if you don't it literally like if you want to do any ability spam build traveler's chosen if you don't mind using a sidearm because I, I don't really like using sidearm so i don't use it that much but it's a really fun weapon to use regardless it's a really good feeling sidearm too like uh, although i don't like sidearms it's probably one of the best ones if not the best sidearm in the game just imagine if traveler's chosen was like an smg or auto rifle or something like that that would be unbelievable i don't think i would ever take it off honestly i don't think i would ever take it off because it would just be so good now would i recommend this build in a nightfall or a raid or something like that i would but i would not recommend using traveler's chosen just because i feel like you need some kind of range so i would recommend switching out traveler's chosen for like a long range auto rifle or maybe a scout or something like that and maybe using lament because lament is just god tier or like maybe like an arc like sword or something like that or that grenade launcher i was telling you about the interference six and i would use first and last out as opposed to xeno class i mean either one you're not going to go wrong with but xeno class is a slug shoddy and slug shoddies are very good right now they're very good in pv so i would just recommend that for that reason plus getting demolitionist 
having your grenade back is just extremely powerful. Now, as for the raid, I think it really depends on the encounter, something where there's a lot of ad clear. Uh, this would be phenomenal in that encounter, but for something where there's a boss like Tanix, I think you're better off running Celestial because Celestial is such a high burst of damage that's really gonna be able to allow your team to do more damage, potentially two phase or whatever you're trying to do. It's just a big safety net. So Celestial is really good for boss damage, but anything else, I think that you can probably use this build to get away with it. Although I will say, um, Mask of Bacchus is pretty good and honestly doing damage because of the arc damage buff is stacks with other damage buffs So if you're using like cloud strike and then an arc grenade launcher You can do actually a lot of damage if you don't want to use celestial or if you just don't like using celestial um, Or if you don't have it or something like that, you can honestly get away with using this So don't be afraid to pull it out But if you guys like this content, please like subscribe and share it truly helps me out a lot You can also check out my other videos links are in the description below I have a lot of crazy builds so go ahead and check that out and you might as well follow my social media I have a Twitter and an Instagram both at fat underscore bloonskis. But with all that being said, deuces.